It's damn time. We back again. We had to pause. We playing Wake That Ass Up uh, to Allen and Sagonese. I don't got no gear, dog. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. I've seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I've been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Hmm. Bro, give me my shotgun. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Where's Saga at? She's still talking. Anyways, what's up? We back at it with waking it up to Saga on these booty cheeks. Um, we out here. Subscribe, like. If you like it, if you don't, that's all right. We out here. We waking it up. Two. Anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. Anything. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. Hmm. The only question now is, are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took Damn. me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the Damn. power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Dude, imagine being trapped in a dark place for 13 years, bro. That's like hell, dude. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the dark presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. I think I can fix this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. Of course it is. Every kind of weapon we have available. What? Don't fuck it up. Girl, these are my weapons. She's talking about I got you every kind of weapon available. My vehicle would be at the parking lot. You know you a lying ass trick. Every weapon available. Girl, you didn't give me no ammo. Fuck out of here. What she talk you see how women some women just be lying. I've got you every last weapon available. Girl, those are my weapons. Liar. I hate to see who in a relationship with your big head ass. Alright, let's get out of here. Hope I don't have to fight nothing. I don't got no map. Oh my goodness. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to. Do I go this way? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that? Okay, something. Oh my I was goodness. awake again, oh. clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice, take it from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Man, I couldn't imagine losing my wife, bruh. That's heartbreaking, bro. I pray for a good wife, dude. Tell my gentleman, you don't pray for a good wife if you got one. 
Like that piece. That piece. Stop it. Bro, he didn't even hit me, bro. I don't like that they do that. You dodge, and they say they hit you when they didn't. He didn't touch me, bro. But yeah, that wife, bro. Gotta want a wife. Mm. I dream about it. I dream about it. Wifey. I need that. But to smoke yourself? Sheesh. That's dark. That's real dark. I don't even know where to go, bruh. I'm gonna just start dipping. You don't see nothing. Ka, ka, ka. Can I go in here? Nope. Alright, I guess I may have to kill these dudes. Bro, why does my flashlight keep going out? They hoeing me, for real. They really hoeing me. It's not fun, guys. It's not fun to get hold. Over here. Where you boy at? Another one. <sighs> okay, where do I go? Yeah, I don't got I don't got no map. Oh my goodness, don't tell me it was right there. I just wasted all that goodness. I just wasted all that goodness. Bro, I feel like I'm stuck in a loop. And my flashlight keep going out for some reason. What? They really got me messed up doing all this bull. All right. Take one thing. Out. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of y'all. He said, bloop, bop, doop. Mm. Bro, they keep coming.
Use the flashlight, Alan. Bro. I thought it was over for the kid. They're really trying to put me through it, dog. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Ain't this a baby bag? You know what? Sheesh. They gave Saga everything and didn't give the me nothing. Place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, it turned me into scratch. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. No ammo. Y'all some tricks. One beautiful thing about this game is I never know where I'm at. It's really a forest. You know, the only time I know where I'm at is when I look at the map on oh, Mama's. So I'm guessing that adds to the to the horror of the game, you know, not knowing where you're going. Somebody's going to creep up on me. I know it. But I got to be ready, y'all. I got to be ready. I got to be ready. Where's that car? Where's that car, man? I don't I'm I'm not ready for a battle, G. <coughs> Am I going in circles? Or if I'm going in circles, somebody go get smacked. What is this? I'm st oh, okay. Oh, there it is. All right, I ain't tripping. Please just let me get in the car. I had to get to Bright Falls. All right, thank See you. See this through to Thank you. Just let a brother get in the car. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. Hmm. That boy Alan spit years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was gonna make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. That boy Alan really out here spitting. He a writer for real. Sir. 
My boy Allen fitted too. This boy, that's a nice little suit. Deer fist. This is not what I expected. Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story that Alan Wake's latest novel, Return, is breaking every literary record in existence. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskela, and welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high quality white officer. I heard that I can get a trophy by watching that. No trophies went off, so Alan Wake's brilliant. I guess I'll be back. With his choice of a hardcover book jacket made off of premium and able stock. Among the stairs, humor glows. Oh, there it is. It popped up. Finally. Small town. Try that in a small town. You I won't. To get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. You won't make it fall. Inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. Try that in a small town. How can I get a copy of that return? I need a copy of that return. Come on, show me what a copy of that return is. Get a copy of return. Get a copy of return. I don't know what a copy of return is. Can you tell me what a copy of return? You got a copy of return? So nobody got a copy of return, bro. I'm just walking around here. So nobody got a copy of the damn book. Grrr. Return is sold out. That's what it says. Can I get a copy? Okay, I'm starting to get angry. I'm starting to get angry. This is getting on my damn nerves, bro. They don't tell you where nothing is. They say get a copy from where? So fucking stupid. We got the book way at the end. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. It's fucking That's pissed. Nice, though, to rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick <laughs> Hey, oh. Oh. Boy, you should have used that to chop something up. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. And where exactly is the writer's room, Alan? This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare. All revolving around a vain monster of a writer. And his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Okay. Please, nobody bother me. I'm not in the mood to be. Of course. I had to find another way inside. Of course. Another way in. How's the front door? Bro, they're going to make me go to the basement. They're going to make me go. Wait, nah, can't go through the basement because you can't get to the house from the basement. Can't get to the house from the basement, you can't do that. I really don't understand this sometimes. I really don't. They gonna make me go through this place. Yep. Alice? What was that? Hold up, something Alice in my was ear. dead. 
Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Something is in my ear. Please, nobody sneak up on me, man. I don't... I don't want to have to go through that. But it seems my wife's still alive. No way. No way. He back at it again. Ah, no! Fuck. Holy moly. That boy, Alan, still run like a bitch. He's not running for his life. I was but he's very pushy. Disheveled. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan. Only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This Got shit it. won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Hmm. Yep. We loop around and come to Keto, Tom. Shut up. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulk. Just open the door. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. I right, move. This is a crazy ass room, ain't it? It's nice. Here, I needed to write the ending. But it's definitely I too only dark. Had one chance to get this right. Plot board. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. First granted to the people of Bright Falls, and over time, it was spread the celebration reaching everyone. What? Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. 
I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. She says survive. Not survive, but survive. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. It means you, Alan. Always need to balance. That means you, Alan. So I'm guessing Alan's about to die. I'm guessing. Pay the price. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. 